diaphragmatic breathing technique. Lay on your back on a flat surface or in bed with your knees bent and your head supported. You can use a pillow under your knees to support your legs. Place one hand on your upper chest and the other just below your rib cage. This will allow you to feel your diaphragm move as you breathe. Breathe in slowly through your nose so that your stomach moves out against your hand. The hand on your chest should remain as still as possible. Tight your stomach muscle, letting them fall inward as you exhale through poor sad lips. The hand on your upper chest must remain as still as possible. At first, I practice this exercise 5-10 minutes about 3 times per day. I increase the amount of time I spend doing this exercise and I even increase the effort of the exercise by placing a book on my abdomen. When you sing, your voice echoes, creating vibration through your head and chest. This echoes of tones is called resonance. Knowing how to change the resonance of your singing voice, also you too make a variant of sounds as you sing. I use the following steps and they help me controlling my vocal resonance. I start to sing the first measure in the figure, sustaining the sound of M as if you were humming and then moving into the E volve. Notice the buzzing or vibrating sensation you feel on your lips. This vibrating sensation is from the vibration of resonance of your singing voice. The E vowel in this measure is the vowel sound in the word ME. As you sing from the M to the E, Try to keep the vibration happening in the same place. You may need to practice singing these measures a few times to keep the vibrations in the same place. The aphostrophe above the figure are breathe marks, indicating when you should take a break. Try singing the second measure, which moves from M to A. The A vowel is the sound in the first syllable of the word father. As you sing from the M to the A, try to keep the vibrations in the same place around your lips. You may feel the vibrations on the A in the back of your mouth 
comparing to the front of your mouth, which is likely where you feel them in step one on the evil. Practice singing the third measure by starting right on the E vowel and moving to the A vowel. Notice whether you can find the same kind of vibrations of resonance that you found when you moved from the M to the vowel in step 1 and 2. Next, I will show you some exercise that improve my rhythm. 8 note rhythm exercises. In order to fully understand 8 notes, I have to be familiar with whole notes, half notes, and quarter notes. I already know that a whole note sounds for 4 beats. A half note sounds for two beats and a quarter note only for one beat. Just like a half note is a half from a whole note. A quarter note is half of a half note and eight note is a half from a quarter note. So two half notes is one whole note. Two quarter notes it's one half note. And finally two eight notes it's one quarter note. You may ask, how am I supposed to count half of a beat? It's actually quite simple. In a situation like this, the first eight note is counted as a beat, meaning one, two, three, four. This is known as downbeat because it is the strongest part of the beat. The second note, the second eighth note, is known as upbeat and is counted by saying the word end. One, end, two, and three and four and remember when you counted eight notes that each note are counting for two equal half of a beat none shorter or longer to understand let's take a look for a couple of measures which incorporate eight notes. In the first measure we see that beats one, two and four contain quarter notes and beat three contains two eight notes. So this will be counted as one, two, three and four. Notice that eight notes I counted in beat three. They are slightly quicker than I counted the quarter notes. Do not confuse this 
and speed it up the bit. The tempo of the bit remained the same for the entire measure. Let's take a look for the next exercise. The measure 2 and 3 are now 8 notes and the measure 1 and 4 are quarter notes. Let's count. 1, 2 and 3 and 4. This is an eighth rest. Wherever is an eighth rest, you should remain silent for half a beat. Let's take a look for a few examples. In this first example, the third note has an eight note on the down beat and the eight rest on the up beat. So you should play the first half of beat three, but remain silent for the second half. Like this. One, two, three, four. Now, in the second measure, the eight rest in the eight note is switched. On beat two, the down beat contains an eight rest and the up beat contains an eight note. With this, you remain silent for the first half of the beat and come back in with the word and on the up beat. One and three, four. Let's put the two measures together so we can hear the difference. One, two, three, four, one, and three, four. Practical music ship helped me with daily practice that begin with physical warm up and a basic voice warm up. Revise the function of each section of the body. Work on the lung exercise and breathing exercise. And even helped me 
with my rhythm exercises and even reading exercises. In this video, you have seen some of the exercises which made me feel comfortable at the end of the year.